what they desire God to do for them today. We want to welcome y'all out to Nation of Prayer. This is, this is what we do. Prayer is sometimes our most highest part of the service. Because we're not called Nation of Prayer for nothing. Amen. And I do believe that all of us are called to be a nation that prays. So I'm asking everybody to inconvenience yourself, make yourself uncomfortable, and in prayer do something that you've never done before. Because if you want to get something or some answers that you've never had, you've got to be guilty of doing something that you've never done.
what you got coming to you and your brothers are still stuck out. I come to ask the people of God, are you willing to lend a helping hand to somebody that has yet to arrive? Are you willing to lend a helping hand to somebody that is still stuck out? And I gotta tell you, for just a moment, we gotta be careful looking down our nose at people because it says that these people still got a battle for what they need and for what uh, the position that they have to take upon. But there's somebody that's already made an, uh, that's already made an arrival. And on tonight, some of y'all have already made an arrival All right. to where you're going in life. You already got to the state of victory in your life. But God told me to remind, to remind you, people of God, that you hadn't always had it all together. So sometimes we got to be patient with that unsaved loved one. We got to be patient with that uh, that daughter, that son that is still trying to come all the way in. Look at somebody say there's a need of patience. We find uh, uh, this a lot of times in the body of Christ that we find ourselves struggling to show true love. Can I take a parenthetical pause here for just a moment? It's a sad indictment on the church that when people come in off of the streets and we know their bio, we know their reservation, and we look at them crazy, Pastor Mitchell. I told you I didn't know where this was going. But where is the love of God in the church? Where is the love of God, baby boy, in Christians. Because I learned in Sunday school, Christian mean to be Christ-like. And although the Bible declares that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, it wasn't too long that some of us was doing the same things that sinners do. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So we gotta learn, people of God, that it's time that we show true compassion uh, for the people of God. But if I hasten to my close. And you don't have to shout when I say it. Because God said, let there be light, and there wasn't nobody around to shout. And manifestations still happen. Yes, so you don't have to shout when I say it. I'm just going to say these two words for anybody that received it. For God said, it is finished. I heard him when he said it. He said, it is finished. Not because of your praise. Not because of your love. Not because of how you feel. Not because of how you pray. But simply because I said it is finished. That's the only
peace uh, in this particular era of his life uh, because he needed somebody uh, that would take the people of God uh, by the hand, uh, raise them up, uh, and teach them how to be successful uh, in their living. Uh, is there anybody here uh, on tonight uh, that's ready to go higher in the Lord? Uh, I made to touch somebody uh, and say, no matter what I Tonight. 